Give your heart some love with Circulation Boosting Bioactives, proven to improve blood flow for better oxygen and nutrient delivery. Boost circulation from day one for better cardiovascular performance that keeps improving over time. Try Cocovia Cardio Health Supplement, available as a capsule or a powder. Visit Cocovia.com today. That's C-O-C-O-A-V-I-A.com and use coupon code CCV20 to get 20% off your order. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. I fi and all the girls are nude by Richard McGrunder. Appearance often times could be deceiving, and things most certainly aren't always as they seem. Take the case of Faneuil Evergood, for instance. Nature of this old man was such that nobody ever called him Nate, not even his closest working companions in the company's bookkeeping department. As long as any of them had known Nephew Evergood, there had never been the slightest indication of any desire of his or of embassy or even friendship. Not once had he shared a drink or lunch or relaxed conversation with anybody, anyone. As far as his associates knew, the same new value was rever- reversed, reserved, is putting it mildly. It would be more accurate to describe him in this little old man as dull, completely, absolutely dull. Appearance, his dress, his speech, in every way imaginable. But in addition to being quite dull, the really new Nathaniel Evergood was also as thoroughly evil of a seen old man as no one knew. Only the main re- one main reason no one had ever seen the inside of Nathaniel's rooms was the fear within him that his evilness and austerity might be discovered, for Nathaniel Evergood might be called a connoisseur to just slightly distort the meaning of that word. Be called it a curse of humanity from a bar, a secret, of course, a abater, a well turned thigh, a rounded, dimpled bottom, a tight waist, and a high, firm bosom. Oh, never have you, never good. Ever good was a connoisseur, right? An investigation he ventured, very rough but conservative guess, collecting at least 50,000 pictures of girls in the whole part of Rosa Rental, vertical, semi nude, or nude over the years. Upon entering his living room, if that were possible, first thing a casual observer would have noted was the point of saturation reached by his walls with this photographic content. There were photographs of blondes, of brunettes, of redheads, pictures of thin girls, fat girls, girls with ample bosoms, girls lacking, girls holding telephones, good books, and ice cream cones, girls 16, girls 25, girls no longer girls. There were shots of glorious colour by the hundreds, original prints alike. It wasn't but it wasn't among them one single view of the Grand Canyon, not even a solitary Indian astride a tired horse looking purposely but put out over the prairie. It was a red screen maiden, mind you, but she wasn't stating a horse. And she said it wasn't staying languidly out over any prairie either. Rather she appeared to be testing the hot toe of the water till she was tree seeded brook somewhere. She was clad in a lone scrutinely Low located feather. On the table, tea table, in the bookshelves, in the magazine rack, in all three his room, one might find ever evidence as evil and seen old man's preoccupation with Wyman's kind, a kind of woman preoccupied, but often didn't, wasn't the kind that married dear old man, man dad. So subscribed to every girly mag- publication in the country and to several in France. Is he Nathaniel good for good? Not only could Sir, he was also an avid collector. There were books and there were magazines. There was even a deck of playing cards, blacked, with the most astounding set of pl- play pictures you ever saw. That everyone could sit down to a game of old maid or snap with that deck of cards is inconceivable, to say the least. But such an evil and seen old man, Stephanie Evergood, never likely played games with his cards. Anyway, he would prefer to just sit and look at them. And for side, of course. He later said he probably spent almost half his really quite meagre earnings of up-to-date editions of his essential collection, getting in magazines, playing cards and prints he received with various mail-order thousands spent as an advertisement of testament in plain unmarked of envelope. But the other half of his collection, the photographs, made in a mountain mate and glossy enlargements of contract prints, if any ever good, came up with entirely different Somewhat rival a manner that resulted from his ability as a fairly advanced amateur photographer. 
Over the years, Nathaniel acquired three fine cameras, excellent enlarger, two contract printers, electric flash units, interchangeable lenses, filters for sunshades and lens scraps, extension tubes and tripods. In short, Nathaniel film. Evergood was well equipped to take photographs of just about anything. He had equipment, he had the necessary technical knowledge, but in the facility, they invariably passed out the occasional practical, archaeological, human interest, interpretive, abstract photographs, even when the opportunities of truly fine shots were there. Instead, he took roll after roll, pack after pack, and courage, cartridge after courage of girls. Nothing but girls, all sorts of girls, just girls. An investigation, Nathaniel suggested that the presence of a camera induced on the screen, generally in curious manner, was enough to cause the most frenzied of locking, zipping, even the most demure, prettiest female ladies, Nathaniel said, was he, now to have their bodies recorded for posterity. Oh, he was certainly a very evil and a highly obscene old man, with the fashion you ever good, if he ever saw one. Before te- and put a body's overview old soul and seen little mind of contained who could probably escape the casual server unless he happened into a tiny cubby hole at the back of the rooms occupied with Nathaniel. There was a sanctum 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 as a peak of his little tiny thin little heart, but there Nathaniel never good guarded jealousy. A secret utterly beyond belief. He fancied himself as something of an inventor. He was too of a salt. He's on a relentless pursuit of photographic subject matter. During the years that led him to situations of money for knowledge, craft, and from a technical rather than an artistic point of view. Thus, his inventive mind, turn of mind, was given an enable assistance to his understanding of the theory, optics, and chemistry of photography. And now he's just putting the finishing touches to the most important project of his entire life. Basing his plan of action on the simple optical theory of acidism, the Fennel designed a lens, activism, he had learned results in the human eye, as well as a manufactured lens, so the formula, in a fairly variety of central vertical target lines to reach a common focus. The lens was designed initially as static, then focused to be brought on one group of target lines or another, but neither on both simultaneously. In front of the lens mounted, he added a front surface prism and a filter, had got carefully grounded and tilted internally, tilted internally in precise colour complement of human skin, flesh. He reasoned quite accurately. It turned out that the prism would rather give all the colours light around together and converge at a local focal plane that is a pure white, thus limiting all colour. But the same instant the complement filter replaced flesh last the flesh colour and the last object fully focused upon circumly recorded on film. And in one swoop, the lens allowed Nathaniel to focus carefully on one group of target lines, in his case a female form underneath its covering, allowing it ultimately throwing up opposing opposing light group of lines out of focus, like a ring of the over the human felt body in case President Brisley covering Together, all colour converting into pure white light, while lastly, complementary filter replaced the colour of flesh to the image and finally noted the photograph. See the possibilities, of course, by replacing the normal lens of one fine camera with his invention. Now, for Fenu Nevergood, Evergood was now equipped to take photograph in rich natural colour, the female de- form divine, unfettered by any or all clothing. Well, in this day in particular, Nathaniel Nevergood stationed himself poised like a pointer, a window camera in hand, wrenched in place, waiting patiently for the first likely subject to appear. A shameful it must seem, the evil and obscene old man was quite noticeably drooling, right from the one side of his pinched little mouth. He heard the pluck saucy click of his heels, payment of a full thirty seconds, before he swung gracefully into his hip, not monomonic sight of line of sight. He was blondish, not too blonde. I understand, but just blonde enough. She was true blue blonde at heart. You know what I mean. Holidays are here, and so is fashionable fitness. Gift yourself a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, a phone that folds in half to literally stand on its own. Pair it with the Galaxy Watch 4 for ultimate wellness and wow factor. Check health stats, flex personal records. Over 90 activities can be tracked, like biking, swimming, 
golfing, and more. Invest in yourself with tech made to crush goals. Holidays open up with Galaxy. Shop it all at Samsung.com. 5G connection and availability may vary. Check with Carrier. Products sold separately. Whatever brings you the most joy this holiday season, Best Buy has the tech to make it happen. Maybe it's welcoming your guests with a sparkling clean home with the help of a new robot vacuum. Or cooking dinner to crispy perfection in less time with a new air fryer. Or maybe it's just a cozy holiday movie marathon on a new flat screen TV. Best Buy has you covered no matter what you're looking for. Get your gifts at Best Buy fast and free, including free next day delivery on thousands of items. Visit BestBuy.com or download the app to shop now. Set a set of 1-20 at second diaphragm F5.6 film real life color rangefinder. Superimposed, click, 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 four shots, four derudable pictures, color two, for she's gone and down, on, down the street. Could it be this evil seen man, sending from his window perch and scuttered back to his little cubby hole? He dug in the room and loaded it into a pink sheet film folder. And then no attempt can be made to describe the gruelling patient that Nathaniel Evergood felt. She sloshed her sensitized. Emotions for the series of solutions for the precise time required for true colour and addition. As in every after 19 long minutes, he washed the sheets and funny held them up, a light for a worse wide-eyed look. She was there, right? His swaying, his swaying blonde. She was there, all of her. Well, sir, after throwing his nose, eyes, his evil on mind, the four lovely images of the girl, even never good, if anyone ever good, Rushed to the downtown camera shop and wrote to out the large check for their entire supply, real life colour film. Then back on the street, quit me. Men are clicking, clicking, clicking. Every pretty woman, pretty girl that came along. Every single one. Oh, he had a time for himself, but this evil, this, did this evil seem old man. Next day was Sunday, happily for his designy brain. There was no work. Of a full night in his cubby hole, developing sheet of a sheet of colour film. But he went to the beach and just now by as you know by now, said his camera shot of clicking like a miniature machine gun. Again the result was spectacular. Put it mildly, the collection grew and grew and grew. Then he ever good was never wearier and never happier. What an evil seeing man he was. Now if anyone had struck to his camera to his wonderful invention, this story might have never been written. But evil and obscene as he was, he soon began to dream of new worlds to conquer. Simple as it had been to apply the principle of equitism to photography with such marvellous results, why not apply this simple principle to his eyeglasses? They would emulate the annoying display taking pictures and developing and viewing them, to say nothing of the terrific expense involved. And usually when writers say no sooner than done it, it was often a gross exaggeration, but Nathaniel was quick about it, nevertheless. In short order, the problems of focus, image distortion, a brief free, a, a bow for radiations were all end out. Nathaniel ventured once again out in the street to give his newest brainchild dry run to speak, so to speak. Glasses worked all right. They worked just fine. Nathaniel Evergood, a leering ecstasy, Raced up and down the street, peering at his watery, overworked eyes this way, and that up and down the road again, and back again. For the next day or so, Nathaniel was busy at the bee, attending every beauty contest and fashion show and ground down. He even found time for a quick run out to the girls' school. Third day following the initial test, new sighting, seeing eyeglasses, Nathaniel suddenly said there was an uncommon lot of nicely structured young ladies right in his own department at the office of Petunis, ever there was one. Nathaniel thought it must, just might be fun to give the remarkable spectacles a chance to separate the women, the girls and the girls from the children. This he did, and lo, his work suffered. He spent a better part of the day classifying the office help in various categories and learning there was at least two ladies who fell in no classification whatsoever. It was the nicest day he had spent at the office in quite some time, he decided. Long after that, the strain was brought on by frequent changes from his normal, realised prism spectacles. Prism set spectacles came so intense he decided there was really no good reason why he shouldn't just wear them. The new ones, of course, all the time. Better to preserve his vision and better to pursue his avocation. 
He did, so he did. There the lay the downfall, the family were ever good. You, now, if you see, the climax of the story comes a month later on, on a sunny, jolly day, the family made a decision to take the shawl's stroll along the midday lady shoppers downtown. I understand that it, with these glasses of his, if anyone had become too accustomed to seeing these fellow creatures, or that trail as it were, it was on the verge of becoming almost commonplace. But even when I've seen as he was, he was still hardly diverting, diver, diverting yet. Anyway, in this particular day, the fellow had made his way to mow on the couple hundred feet from his front door when a heavy hand clutched his shoulder and a rough voice growled, Where have you been? Where you think you're going, you scrawny old buzzard? You ought to, you ought to know better. Fanny good, never good, spun around. Sunny pair of friends. The uniform, of course, was visible. A man was not raving beauty. He is, said he was no mistake in the ugly grun, the shiny badge and the unfortunate tone of voice. I beg your pardon, the fellow spluttered indignantly. Just what is the meaning of this ridiculous outrage? I oh, if the Irish cop was even more indignant, though. Now, just look at yourself. I've seen him, I've seen him, I've seen him, my time is bringing down the street with no shoes or, or not even pants. But just look at yourself. Not a stitch on the Fanny Goodwood. Looked down at himself, sent sudden horrified realization. Looked back up quickly. But it began everyone else. And then, of course, he had to stop. Well, the upshot of this was that the officer hauled him back to his rooms, get some clothes on before cutting back down to the station house. And it was before they entered the apartment, the fellow stood to get ten days' provision or a token fine for forgetting all his clothes. I was caught being orderly and, and, stand, and standing her a lot. But then, confronted by a staggering array of unclad femininity, this Irishman flushed a deep red, bored and angry, amazed Irish blemish for me, and then roared like a lion. Don't think the officer didn't check the evidence carefully. The proper degree of loathing, of course. He had been before showing the fennel conservatory down the street, called a paddy wagon, and suddenly things went wor- much worse for the evil of seeing the fennel good ever good than they might have, had not this righteously outraged policeman done his duty f- as he saw it. Matter of fact, he threw the book at, at the old boy, not until a, f- a thorough investigation was made, not until several hundred outraged members of each of every Moore's anti democracy and my anti vice committee in town had carefully checked and grasped of the collected evidence. Ever in the history of the city had there been such a hue and cry aroused by the punishment of offender. So the fan you good ever good, evil and seen as ever, got five years for possession of photography. Indecent exposure and other charges. In the views of the ever prevailing judiciary, the climax of spectacle trial, spectacle trial, so it's a sentence is far too lenient of punishment for crime of such an element. And from this very day, the fields of files of local conservatory, the vermiferous collection of Nathaniel Evergood, occupying 15, 14 huge, warm, well worn cabinets. Always on display in indignant and affronted eyes of the anti sin committeeman who wishes to examine it. And taken in as evidence was a Fennel's wonderful prismatic lenses and his marvellous glasses. Any time you be by the station house, drop in the chief's office. The only open cabinet opposite his desk, you can see the venerable objects. Now, although the lenses are partly scratched and worn, it's still the same old two inventions. That in general, in genius, but not evil to see an old man, the Fenway Evergood, number 5 dash 049 dash 58, number 5 dash 489, comma, 870. And not that it makes much difference as the case is known, past and closed. It might be interesting to point out the chief is often seen at beauty colleges and fashion shows wearing thick lens glasses, which claims the optimistic. Autobinist described it as falling out of sight. I don't know if it's true or not. But they say Chief is also the biggest customer in local camera shops for a certain product called Real Life Colour Film. Now, it doesn't make much difference now. Now, if any good wood is serving his sentence out, even as seen as ever, the case is long past and closed. 
Data is the digital world's most precious resource. And with Backblaze, an easy-to-use cloud storage provider, you can make sure your data is truly secure and available. Whether it's music, documents, photos, or anything else, Backblaze offers an unlimited computer backup solution. Plus, everything is accessible worldwide via web and mobile applications. Backblaze backs up your entire Mac or PC, and it's just $7 per month. Your data is everything. Back it up, access it, and use it with Backblaze. For a 15-day free trial, visit backblaze.com slash holidays. Holidays are here, and so is fashionable fitness. Gift yourself a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, a phone that folds in half to literally stand on its own. Pair it with the Galaxy Watch 4 for ultimate wellness and wow factor. Check health stats, flex personal records. Over 90 activities can be tracked, like biking, swimming, golfing, and more. Invest in yourself with tech made to crush goals. Holidays open up with Galaxy. Shop it all at Samsung.com. 5G connection and availability may vary. Check with Carrier. Products sold separately.